Well, happy Tuesday. I think looking at that background too much, I might get a little too dizzy. And welcome to my channel. Today I have an interesting comedian, his name is Jeff Applebaum. As he said, he's a Old Testament guy, so maybe that's why I, the reason I liked him. There's some funny stories uh, that he has. Uh, this is, once again, just some excerpts. Uh, one of them uh, reminded me of some stories when I was a kid, uh, so I'll talk about that when he's all done. So let's give Jeff his, his opportunity. Jeff, take it away. Living in the state of California is like an ongoing celebration of Earth Day. <laughs> Every single day, driving last week, I got stuck behind a couple of pre-I. <laughs> Very smart. More than one Prius. <laughs> On the back of the Prius, a bumper sticker, Save the Earth, Everything is Green. And out the window, a hand with a cigarette. <laughs> You've seen it. It's like the vegan with the leather Gucci purse. <laughs> be as righteous as you want to be, but just be consistent. Right? And vegans make me laugh. They say stuff like this. I wouldn't eat anything that had a face. Really? Then I saw a vegan eating french fries, and I thought, my Mr. Potato Head had a face. <laughs> My family is very well integrated. My older brother married a Swedish woman. My wife is Chinese. My younger brother's wife is black. That was an interesting wedding. New York Jews and black Southern Baptists. <laughs> Our extended family reunions are like the General Assembly at the UN. <laughs> Nobody speaks the same language. They're all fighting. And only three people recognize Israel as a country. And I remember my brother's wedding. He stepped on the glass and his in-laws yelled, Molotov! <laughs> That's Mazel Tov. <laughs> my wife and I just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. Thank you. Happiest six years of my life. <clears throat> That was the year of the rat through the year of the rooster. No, I love my wife very much. We don't argue now, we only have discussions. And we had a discussion a few weeks ago over cream cheese. Cream cheese, let, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. I was sent to the, excuse me, I, I went to the store. Who am I kidding? I was sent to the store to buy a dozen bagels. I use bagels in quotes because outside of New York, it's just bread and it's round, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you. With a dozen bagels, you get to pick out your own flavor of cream cheese. I picked sun-dried tomato cream cheese because the packaging looked nice. I came home, handed my wife the bag. She opened it, took out the cream cheese and said, what is this? All of a sudden, I became an eight-year-old trying to hide broccoli. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Who is going to eat this? I don't know. <laughs> I was told to take it back. <laughs> Three days later, <laughs> I'm at the grocery store. And I see a man take out his cell phone and take a picture of frozen pizza. Sent it to whom I believe was his wife. Waited 15 seconds, got the confirmation, the pizza went in a shopping cart, and that's how you stay married today. games that the kids have these days. They got, what, an Xbox, Y-Box, Z-Box, you, me, we, them, us. What was our video game? What is the video game we had? Who remembers? First, Atari Pong. How many people remember Pong, right? <laughs> Lo 
long white rectangle, little white square. And my family did not own a color TV till I was in ninth grade. We, it was a big old black and white TV, big wood box and small screen. And I'll tell you that, and we'd watch Batman, the kids would make fun of me. They're like, what color is Batman's cape? I'm like, gray. <laughs> How about Robin? Light gray. <laughs> And we wanted to watch Batman at 5.30. We had to turn the TV on at 5.15. Because it had to warm up. Could you imagine your kids, your grandkids, sitting 15 minutes for a TV set to warm up today? Whatever. Whatever. for all the channels we wanted in the whole world, UHF and VHF, that knob would fall off, we'd use a pair of pliers. <laughs> and on Saturday night in New York City, my brothers and I would watch what I thought was the greatest Spanish TV station of all time. We'd watch channel 47, Lucha Libre. <laughs> Spanish wrestling. And I look over at that TV set and I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. That TV set had no antenna. Then I thought, I had a radio that had no antenna. I could be deep in the basement. I could be surrounded by steel. And no matter where I have ever been in this entire world, I have always received a crisp Spanish broadcast. <laughs> Even Israel. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, why aren't there more Spanish cell phone companies? <laughs> Telefondo. <laughs> Los noches y fin de semana. Telefondo. <laughs> you put a wire hanger on top of a TV set, that is a Spanish satellite dish, right? <laughs> I got a soccer game in Nicaragua. Go! And when the picture would finally come on, it wouldn't be this beautiful flat panel HD image. It would come on like this. And it would never quite make it to the top of the screen. And I look up, I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Catwoman's head is kind of dog-eared. And I look a little closer, I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't Sony have one N? And my father had bought a Sony TV. We grew up with all the off-brands. I didn't complain, I just sat there quietly eating my Ben and Gerald's ice cream. <laughs> Rocky Ride. <laughs> if you have ever shopped at Walmart, you know this, they don't have Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. They have Mountain Lightning and Dr. Thunder. <laughs> Walmart was the number one retailer in the world, but they didn't always have top shelf products, no. I bought a pair of underwear at Walmart and had a little string hanging off of it. I pulled on that thing two days later, I had a sweatband and a do-rag. <laughs> do-rag with an air hole. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, I, um, where I exercise, there's a lady who thinks for some reason that my name is Steve. It's a great name. It's just not mine. She sees me last week, she's like, hey, Steve. I'm like, hey. She's like, where's your next show? I'm like, here's my chance. I said, all the information's on my website, jeffapplebaum.com. She repeats, jeffapplebaum.com. Okay, Steve, I'll check it out. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing it here. Well, I hope you enjoyed Jeff. Like I said these are excerpts. His link is down below. Do watch this whole gig. It's uh, 26 minutes, so it's not real long. It's funny, and I think you'll enjoy it. And one of the things that he talked about was the TV set. Now, I'm a bit older than Jeff, and my TV time goes a little bit differently. Uh, when I was a kid, I think maybe eight, nine years old, we had a month's M-U-N-T-Z TV, and they were 
big round things. Uh, the screen was round. We had a, a 25 inch, if I remember right, or 26 inch, and we it was huge. In those days, it was still a big screen. Uh, it's funny compared to today. You know, I have a, a 44 and a 65, and a, a 25 was huge. And uh, one of the things that as a rite of passage to becoming a man was going to to test the TV. So whenever the TV went out or something went wrong, the horizontal lock would go or the vertical lock. It will, uh, you know, where it starts doing this. Uh, you put all the tubes out from the back of the TV and you went down to the local drugstore and they had a tube testing machine. Uh, yep, a tube testing machine. And you would put your tubes in and look for the one that said bad. And then buy that tube and put them all back in, hopefully in the right spot. And uh, you would have your TV back. Uh, and he talked about uh, a pair of pliers. Well, we were a little bit more ingenuity, had a little bit more ingenuity than that. We used a vice grip. And of course, uh, the remote control in those days was either myself or my brother. Uh, hey boy, get up and change the station. So <laughs> that was the uh, remote. But I have uh, fond memories of, of TVs, and I remember my one of my first TVs uh, I got on my own was a, I'm not going to say a Sony, but it might have been, not a Sony, but a Sony, and it was a hybrid. It had some tubes in it and some solid state. So it was just making that transition from pure solid state, where it became a throwaway, to you can still check some tubes. It had a picture tube, which was a, a tube about this long and, you know, uh, pretty good size. It wasn't huge, but it was about this big. You remember those days, TVs were in consoles, so uh, you didn't have these big things like you have today. So, there's some memories from my TV days. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next week. This is episode 107. Uh, this is well into our third year now. So, keep it up. Enjoy the shows. Uh, comments, most welcome down below. Anything you want to say about it, give me a shout. I answer them all. And this is Rich Ibach. See you next week. Bye.